Sherwin-Williams is Cleveland. In 153 years, it's the only home they've ever known. Spirit showed last month at the dedication of their sponsored entrance at the new Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse, which looks out at their headquarters just a few hundred yards away. We look forward to this partnership, not only where we are today, but continuing to grow together. But will that relationship be a long-distance one? In the post-Amazon HQ2 era, when a publicly traded Fortune 200 company announces they're looking for a site for new headquarters, they will find plenty of suitors, offers they will have to consider. Sherwin-Williams has a responsibility to its shareholders and to its employees to be in in the best market, uh, with the best talent stream, with the most international access, and consistent with repositioning its brand as a company of the future. John Boyd of the Boyd Company specializes in helping companies around the world go through the process of relocating. Though not working with Sherwin on this one, he says they all begin with a couple of common denominators. Number one being talent pool. Universities nearby graduating future workers with the skill sets needed to compete in a global economy. And number two, a major international gateway airport. The lack of a hub, he said, works against Cleveland. I mean, just look at the label on Sherwin-Williams paint cans. It says cover the world. So international access is is a major site selection driver today. Based on talent and travel, then, who might be bidding? I would expect Dallas, Houston, uh, Charlotte and Atlanta, Chicago to be in the mix. I think Pittsburgh could be an interesting outlier candidate for this project, given the strength of its chemicals industry. Sherwin-Williams means more to Cleveland than the $15 million a year in taxes and the half billion dollars in employee payroll. It means cloud. When we went to Washington in 2014 to make the pitch for the Republican National Convention, the concern of the RNC's part was could Cleveland's corporate community raise the $65 million needed to host it? When then Sherwin-Williams CEO Chris Conner stood up to say we're good, we were good. Boyd said this process usually takes several months, and he's heard that the state and Jobs Ohio are aggressively making their push to keep this Cleveland industrial giant in Cleveland. Sherwin-Williams is really, really the industrial face of Cleveland. And I think losing Sherwin-Williams would you know, bring back memories uh, back to the 90s of losing the Cleveland Browns. In Cleveland, John Kasich, News 5.